Hi guys, Mr. Dobrens here. The last video showed you how to use the one, two, three block to manually find the Z offset for the bit. This uh, video is gonna show you how to use the touch plate to do it. Now there are three ends to the touch plate which all need to go somewhere. We have the touch plate itself which must be plugged into um, this piece here. So if it's ever out, all you do is, this is kind of a, a, an audio plug here. You put that guy in the hole. Now one thing I want you to be aware of is the hole is not perfectly in the middle. It's actually offset. So when you wanna make sure that this face is down on the part, because if it's this face, it could potentially hold it up and create a false Z number. So this goes on the piece that you wanna to touch. And I probably have to hold it, especially on small pieces. This magnetic piece actually gets attached to the collet nut which is just above the, uh, which is actually part of what holds the cutter into the spindle. And the last part is this jack, which looks just like a headphone jack. It actually plugs into the side of this. So once you have all three of those in the right place, we can use the touch plate. I hit the plate button and it's gonna ask, or it's gonna tell me prepare everything. Essentially, it's telling me to plug it all in just like I did, click okay. And now what it says is confirm proper touch plate connection. Probe tip must be above material. At this point, what you do is you touch the plate and you see the screen go red. This is making sure everything works before um, it moves the machine down because if it didn't work, if we didn't check it before that happened and the machine moved the bit down, it would break the bit, it, it would break something. None, uh, none of which we want to have to deal with. So it's really important that you verify it works. All right, so I'm kind of holding the touch plate flat because it's a smaller piece. If I click OK, the machine is going to move the bit down until it just touches the touch plate. Hence, that's why we call it a touch plate. And then it says the touch found at Z is 0 0.370. Do we accept? If everything felt right about that, you know, if, if, if this was cocked, then do it again. Uh, but everything went perfect, so I'm going to hit OK. And now it says that there is exactly 5 eighths of an inch or 625 thousandths between the bit and the bottom. Because what it does is it touches the touch plate and then it goes back up a specified amount. So now my Z is set, and that's how you do it with the touch plate. Now, some people think the touch plate is a lot faster than doing it manually. Um, I guess it all depends on the user, but if you're good and you're quick, you can probably do both in about the same amount of time. All right, that said, always make sure that you remove the touch plate components, even from the side of the pendant, and you place it back in its designated location, which for us right now is the drawer, but that may change in the future. All right, so now you've seen how to do it with both the one, two, three block in a manual fashion and with the touch plate.